So hi, Dr. Bridget here with another Prescription for Success. And today I'm going to be talking about uh, what triggers are there for unwanted behaviours. So let's do a little bit more of a definition of that question. So triggers for unwanted behaviours. Triggers are what sets a sequence of behaviour off and the sequence of things that happen in your mind at an unconscious level that lead to an outcome. Um, so unwanted behaviours, so I, you know there's so many unwanted behaviours and you can probably give me lots yourself. So maybe procrastination, doubting yourself, withdrawing from people, um, being irritable, picking fights, drinking alcohol, binge eating, comfort eating, so many more, um, lots of unwanted behaviours and people's unwanted behaviours will be personal for them. So what's an unwanted behaviour for someone won't be an unwanted behaviour for someone else. So just have a little think about yourself in this context. So, you know, every uh, behaviour has this strategy. We call it strategies in NLP where it, there's a trigger. So the trigger will be something that you see, something that you hear, or something that you say to yourself, and that will set off a um, a, a sequence of, of things in your brain that will lead to a specific behaviour. So, for instance, um, I used to have a behaviour that I'd see the um, clock at six o'clock in the evening, I'd look at the fridge, I'd say to myself, it's time for a glass of wine, and I'd go and have a glass of wine. So that's just a sequence of events that I used to do. Now you can interrupt these sequence of events and get different sequence of events which then lead to a different behaviour. Uh, and if you're interested in learning more about this from a coaching level or a professional level or, or just wanting to talk to people about it, I talk about strategies on NLP courses. And here's a link to look more at the NLP courses to learn more about it. So. The other thing about unwanted behaviours, which is really, really interesting, is that every behaviour has a positive intention, so it has a purpose. So people don't do behaviours for no reason. They do it because there's a purpose of it for them. So every behaviour has a positive intention for the person that's doing it. And that's really interesting. So putting all of this together, if you think about triggers for any unwanted behaviours that you might have. You could start to notice those triggers and maybe at a conscious level you could start to change those. You could also ask yourself what are you getting out of the behaviour and that might not seem obvious to start with because whenever I ask people what um, the intention is for their behaviour they usually say well there isn't any positive intention. Quite often it's things um, about protection so let's think, well, if you're going to withdraw from um, a discussion, um, then you're probably doing that because it protects you in some way and protecting you in some way will then give you um, some sort of security and security might give you happiness. Happiness might give you your ability to live your life to the full. So. Interestingly, as we chunk up, as I call it, um, from an NLP perspective, then you get to the real, real positive intention for that behaviour. So what might you get out of it and what else might you get out of it? And then ask yourself, what would you rather do instead? And this is all about awareness raising. So once you know the trigger, once you know the purpose for doing it and what you'd rather do instead, then at a conscious level, you can actually start to make some changes so if you can't make those changes, then give me a shout. I do a free half hour um, where we, we explore what's going on. And at an unconscious level, we can start to change things really quickly. So if you've been doing something for a long time, you don't want to do it, get in touch. If you want to learn how to do it with other people, come on an NLP course and I'll see you next week. Bye.